Percy was puffing into the yard to fetch Gordon's coaches for the express, but he was very surprised of what to find. The yard was a mess. Trucks lay everywhere. There were trucks in front of the coaches, and there was one engine confronting the yard. Um, excuse me, could you please move so I can fetch the express coaches? <laughs> I will not move until I return to my home, and, I'm, and I am given the respect I deserve on this railway. But I need to fetch the express coaches. Well, too bad. You're gonna have to wait until I'm given the respect I deserve. Fine, then. And Percy then puffed away. <laughs> Silly little engine. Who does he think? Speaking to me, I deserve great respect. Percy then soon arrived with Richard on board. What is the meaning of this? I demand that I'm given the respect I deserve. Well, there's no reason to sabotage the yard. Hm. This railway deserves it. All of these engines are pathetic. Hm. Well, they're better than you. How dare you speak to me like that? A Patreon class engine. We were built for strength. We are strong, fast, and efficient. Respect. Fine then, we'll just move you on to an old siding. Percy, buffer up to him. <laughs> Percy then pulled and pulled and pulled as hard as he could. But he couldn't move him. I'm sorry, Richard, but I can't move him. Don't worry, Percy, you did your best. <laughs> See, your engines are pathetic. Oh, my class are the best in service. That's it. I'm sending you back to the mainland by boat. <laughs> you can't. You have to arrange it with my controller. And he only lets his engines be transported on rail. <sighs> then I'm just gonna have to call a bigger engine to move you. Percy? Yes, sir? We can't delay the express, so go and fetch the other coaches on the other siding. You would paint sir. Leave him. I'll get another engine to take him away. Yes, sir. Richard then hopped aboard Percy, and he then puffed away to the other siding. Percy soon set to work bringing the coaches to the platform. After Percy had left, Hank Trius puffed out the yard. Percy then slowly brought the coaches into the station. Percy was done on top of the coaches and he ran around to the back of the coaches so he could help the train start. Gordon then backed down and was coupled to the train. Gordon then blew his whistle to show that he was ready. Hurry up, or I'm going to be late. All the passengers then hurried aboard the coaches. All right, don't fuss. And the train then set off. Good luck. I don't need luck. Soon, Gordon was thundering down the main line at full speed. Express coming through. Oh, what it does mean to be the fastest engine on the road. The other engines have no idea what it feels like. Wait, what's that up ahead? Up ahead, Pentrius was holding up Edward on the point. Get moving, you! I have to get onto the other line, and the express will be here any second. Hm. No. Get out of the way! 
Clear the track! Henry is then quickly moved out of the way, but Edward had nowhere to go. Driver! Fireman! Run! It's too late. <laughs>